This month, NCAA on campus takes to the track for both some distance running and for some sprints. And then, off to the baseball diamond. In Westerville, Ohio at Otterbein College, we'll have an academic All-American interviewing a baseball All-American. And it's the same guy. In Ames, Iowa at Iowa State, we'll meet the fastest 10,000-meter female in NCAA history. And in Raleigh, North Carolina at St. Augustine's College, we'll meet two of the fastest sprinters in the nation. It's all on now, and it's all on campus. Welcome to Iowa State University in Ames, Iowa. There are 28,000 students here and the Cyclones are members of the Big 12 Conference. And on this campus in 1942, they built the world's first computer. The Anastasov Berry computer was not programmable, but it was the first device to use binary digits and to perform all calculations using electronics rather than wheels or mechanical switches. Iowa State has also turned out some legendary wrestlers who've won gold medals, including Dan Gable, who won two NCAA titles, Cale Sanderson, who was undefeated in his four years here at Iowa State, and current ISU head coach Kevin Jackson. Lisa Cole is the newest NCAA champion from Iowa State. In March at the NCAA Indoor Championships, she won the women's 5K, and then just a few weeks later, she set an NCAA record in the 10K, running 6.21 miles in 31 minutes, 18.07 seconds. And Lisa is just as fast in the classroom, graduating in three years with a 3.98 GPA. And then right into veterinary school at Iowa State. I kind of always knew I wanted to be a vet when I was little. I was the stereotypical bring the dog or cat home and ask mom if I want to keep it, if I can keep it. And uh, I've always been interested in biology and sciences throughout high school. So the medical field kind of really was where I wanted to go. And then the year before I graduated, I was trying to decide do I want to go to medical school, do I want to go to vet school, and everyone was telling me I, you should go to medical school because you'll make a lot more money and vet school is really hard, but I just followed my heart. It's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a vet and it's what I was passionate about, and so that's kind of where I followed. Lisa's success on the track, nine-time All-America, two NCAA titles, and the fastest 10K by an NCAA female, those all came as a bit of a surprise even to Lisa. In high school, I never really was great. I mean, I was good. I was recruited by all the schools in state, um, but no one out of state. I never won a state title, and I think it kind of worked to my advantage. I just always had these little goals along the way. I was always just setting the bar a little bit higher, and I think I kind of didn't get ahead of myself and, and allowed it to kind of come to me instead of, instead of trying to chase it. When Lisa talks about her running, she tells you a love story. Oh, I love running. And I, I know people think it's crazy to, to enjoy running, but uh, it's not work for me. I love doing it. I love the fact that it's a lifelong sport and that you don't need anybody else. You just need a pair of shoes and you can head out the door and go running. Um, so I love that part of it as well. And then the competitive part of it, I'm just a very competitive person. So I think stepping on the track and just trying to beat someone to that finish line is such a raw, like, purest sense of a sport. And that really attracts me as well. And with Lisa, you got somebody that's really bright and articulate and does really well academically. But when she steps on the track, she's, she's a fierce competitor and, and, and doesn't really think too much and just, just tries to beat her competition. And I think that's a, a rare combination. Lisa has developed a reputation for running negative splits. That is, she runs the second half of her race faster than the first half. It's what she did when she broke the NCAA record in the 10K, running the first half in 15.51 and the second 5K in a personal record of 15.27. I really like negative splitting because it allows me to stay relaxed the first half of the race and not really think about it. And I'm kind of a rhythm runner, and so 
when I start getting into a rhythm and I keep picking it up little by little, it's almost like I feel like I gain momentum. Um, it's how I train. All my workouts, I try to finish them faster than I start them. Going into the 10K at Stanford this year, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I hadn't run 10,000 meters race in about a year. I was kind of worried I was just going to die. Um, so I stayed really relaxed the first 5K and got through 5,000 meters and I was like, I feel really, really good. And so um, I just kind of gradually picked it up lap by lap by lap. And, and then I think with a mile to go, um, Coach Immels yelled at me, if you just keep the same pace, you've, you've got the collegiate record. And I was like, okay, I know I can do that. I know I can maintain what I have. Lisa hopes to keep running into the 2012 Olympics in London and even beyond. She'll get that vet degree, but if the running opportunities are there, she'll follow her heart. Yeah, I study and run. I just That's my lifestyle. I guess I've just fallen in love with the lifestyle of it. I just run and get up in the morning, run, go to class, come home, take a nap, go run again, study and go to bed. And I like that. And some people wouldn't like that. They want to go out on the weekends or, I don't know, go do stuff, but I love what I do. I love reaping the benefits of it, and it's very rewarding to me. I think through athletics and college, I've just kind of found myself. I found who I am, I found what I enjoy doing, I found the lifestyle I want to live. And I think that's all that's what it's all about in college.